Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and these are the AKG K702 Reference Studio Headphones. In the box you get the headphones, a three meter long detachable headphone cable, which has got a quarter inch jack connector that can be unscrewed and underneath you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack connector. And you get various bits of paper, one of which is a warranty card. The headset itself is of an around the ear design. So your ears sit inside the pads and the pads rest against your head and not against your ears. These are also an open back design. So the sound not only is projected towards your ears, but it also bleeds out from the headphones. This gives you a much better overall stereo sound. The headband is self-adjusting, so you only have to put the headphones on and the band automatically adjusts. The cable is a very simple clip design and just simply clips into the headphones. And by pressing a little button on it, you can unclip it again. The thick foam padding on the ear pads mean that these are a pretty comfortable pair of headphones to wear. The pressure that is put against your head isn't too firm, but it is firm enough to get to keep them in place quite reasonably well. They are though almost entirely made of plastic, except for obviously the metal speaker components and the leather headband. So I'm not 100% sure just how long these are going to last. But I would say they would last a lot longer if you use them in a static situation, like in a studio and use them with your door, um, than perhaps if you start throwing them in a bag and try to take them out with you and listen to stuff on the go. They are apparently pre-tested and the speakers in these are matched. From what I've seen or heard, should I say heard so far, um, I, would, I would go along with that. I would accept that, that they are matched. These headphones are rated at 62 ohms impedance. So I have noticed online a few people worried about what kind of amplification you need to run these headphones. Well, everything that I've connected them into, they worked with. They work with my mobile phone. They work with my Roland Axe Edge there. Um, they do work with the Zoom U22, but I've done another video for. But if I'm going to use them in a door situation, I would say the U22 is just a little bit underpowered to run these for uh, a mixing studio application. I've also used these with my Tascam US 16X08, which I've also done a video for. And for me, the Tascam has got more than enough power to run this headset. And sound wise, I think um, these and the Tascam are actually very well matched. Now I have done a sound test, but it's not what I would call massively technical. I took this headset and I wrapped it around a Rode microphone. I played some music through these headphones 
and I recorded the output from these headphones into the microphone and then I took a pair of very very cheap Newmark DJ headphones and I did exactly the same thing I played the same music at the same volume through those headphones and those headphones were wrapped around the same Rode microphone and I recorded that and what you're going to hear now is those recordings but that will just give you a kind of reference guide as to how they relate to each other obviously whatever you're listening through is going to make a difference to the sound you hear so you can only really take these as references to each other not as a direct take on what these headphones actually sound like So are these headphones worth buying? Well, the sound spectrum on these is very flat. It's probably about as flat as you're going to get them for this kind of money. And for me, that's what I'm looking for. Very flat spectrum sound to give me as good a reflection of the recording that I'm mixing as possible. I've matched these with my Tascam US 16X08 audio digital interface and for me they work very well together and they're giving me the response that I'm looking for so I don't have to rely on studio speakers as much. They run from 10 Hertz to 39.8 kilohertz so there's nothing in the mix that I'm missing. There's no added bass or treble, and there's no dials to allow you to add bass or treble. Um, but for the purpose they're designed, that's a good thing. So with all that in mind, I would say yes, this headset is worth buying. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.